Today we are nestled in beautiful Grover Beach, California, and we are, as you can see behind me, at GE Forge and Tool. This is a third generation, family owned, US manufacturing company making hoof nippers. Yes, you heard me correctly, hoof nippers. This is one of those types of products that I've personally never been a part of before, and I've been into hundreds of shops around the world. So I'm excited to take you over to talk to Josh and see how Mitoco Automation is helping him keep up with the demand in production because GE Forge and Tool is the go-to for horse nippers. The professionals seek them out. Well, we stepped inside to G Forge and Tool where I'm with my buddy Josh, the mastermind behind patented products and really making, well, a lot of lives better. My lower back just hurts talking to him about some of these projects. But let's skip into the world of automation and Mitoco and the fact that your business is growing and booming and you stepped in from the world of welding and it's a third generation company. Automation has really supported you, specifically Mitoco. And on this product right here, we have a trunnion table as well. Would you mind discussing how you decided to operate your increased demand here at GE Forge and Tool? Sure, so by, the, by adding this dual trunnion table set up, um, yes, this one part has gone from four parts to 12 parts just on this pallet alone. Don't forget the other pallet. Now we did not, we, we, we increased that one from again, four pieces to 12 pieces on depending on which tool that we are running. So uh, overall, yeah, we're, we're almost quadrupling progress, the, the outcome on the tools that we're making here. We're keeping up with demand by doing so. I mean, Mitoco is a huge help in this process right here. You know, Josh, I've had the pleasure to speak with you off camera. Yes, I get extra insight before I do this. I'm not, even though it might look like I'm just winging it, I actually know some things. Josh, you mentioned that this machine and this setup with the trunnion table, being able to turn on its side, you're running 60, 70, 80% of your work here. And a lot of your other jobs in other places are supported by this one setup. Is that kind of what you were describing to me? Uh, yeah, so I mean this this does take over a lot right here. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible Now you mentioned four parts to 12 parts in my mind I automatically do the math and go well if I'm doing four to 12 It's a longer cycle time, but it's also fully automated, but I'm also doing more This is also quicker as well as it allows you to machine some of these edges a little bit faster so it in machining itself it is faster, but by adding more parts that is less change over time that's less hands on the part, which yes, we're making more parts quicker overall. So it, it may, four to 12 may seem like it's tripling, but just because of the process itself, by going faster, by not having to change over as many, we're nearly quadrupling the process. Yeah, it's incredible. And we're standing in front of this one because this is a very meaningful setup for Josh here at GE Forge and Tool. And these are the go-to, the professionals. It's what the professionals want in this world of, of hoof nippers, which is really a fun word to say even, but you also have the manual loading ones back here. In my head, because you've already mentioned the less manual intervention or human intervention that comes into these machines, well, you have a little human intervention here. What's the reason for the uh, manual setup on this side? Uh, space determines a lot of it, um, and just the setup itself on the tools that we need, but, but space is a big factor. Yeah, and, and you, my friend, Guys, if you ever get the opportunity to come see this, you most definitely should. But walking around here, you are squeezing every inch out of this shop and the machines, aren't you? We have shoehorned in as much as we possibly can at this time, yes. So we're gonna have to talk to Haas about learning how to stack machines on top of each other because there's no more floor space. We'll talk to Haas a little bit about that later. I wanna get into a little bit because we're looking at these two machines here. We got one behind me, a few on the other side. Almost everything in here is equipped with the Mitoco product. So. How has Mitoco supported you along that journey to, to help you understand how the technology works, to help you improve on your automation uh, service and support? Have you needed any of that? How has Mitoco helped all of that? Uh, Mitoco has been great. Uh, we haven't had any real issues and the issues that we've had, um, they've been more than willing to work with it through us. Um, they have taught us that having these dual pallets, uh, there's, while the machine is turning on one pallet, the other pallet is now being loaded and unloaded. So the, the machine is constantly turning. Spindle time is the, is the important part here. Josh, you, you said something that I was actually gonna bring up. So it's very intuitive of you to see this one coming. It, you're far more clever than I am, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to go, wait a second, if I can keep my spindle turning, I can make more money and make more parts. And that's really the, the nuts and bolts of it, isn't it? That's, that's completely what it is, absolutely. 
So I want to real, real quick before I head out this door and offer you all my gratitude for allowing MTD to come in here and share the technology of Mitaco, but also your company as the world go to in your industry, which is fascinating to me. Again, hoof nippers, how awesome. And yes, he does have a patent. Would you mind quickly going into what you guys are manufacturing here? Because now that we've highlighted all the technology and how successful you guys are, would you mind just sharing a little bit of your story as well? Sure, uh, um, the, the background, um, it comes from my grandparents wanting to move out of LA. Uh, they saw a business for sale and they winged it. They said, and here we are today. I mean, it went through my father who, who put his ideas and wanted to make stuff new and better onto me and then here we are now. I like it. We always appreciate and support U.S. manufacturing companies. This is third generation. Josh, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate thank you. you. Appreciate it. It's been truly a pleasure. Awesome. Thanks for coming by. As we come full circle from forging to manufacturing to polishing and finishing, we are at GE Forge and Tool today. Yes, this is what the professionals go to when it comes to horse nippers out there. World renowned, world famous. We just heard from Josh on how Mitico has supported his manufacturing, allowing him to produce more. Now, if you want to learn more about GE Forge and Tool, it's super easy. It's geforge.com. If you want to know more about Mitico, it's Mitico hyphen corp c-o-r-p dot com check them both out upgrade your three axis machining today and check out ge forge because josh what a good guy he is right i'll see you guys later i'm gonna actually head out to the beach now because this is beautiful california mm -hmm.